Uh, so this is uh, the Team 6 final report for the global presentation. The team includes uh, some members from three different schools. Uh, NTU is one that was from Thailand. Uh, another one was NCKU and along with Wazoo. The members for NTU were Owen, Jason, and Daniel. Debbie was the only member of the NCKU. And then Brian, Jem, and Adam Jorgensen were the members of WSU who are giving this presentation. So the introduction, we just covered uh, <clears throat> the universities involved were NCKU, NTU, and WSU. Um, some of the roles were Owen, Jason, and Daniel created the structural design, followed by Debbie, who did the model creation, and Adam and myself, we did the 4D rendering as well as the fly-through. So the building's located in Kaohsiung County, Taiwan. And uh, I don't know why that's there. <laughs> uh, so the 4D model, some of our objectives were to create durations of each activity in order to achieve completion in a realistic manner. By doing so, we uh, used some of our experience learned from uh, Cherf's class. Uh, some of the benefits, by using Excel, we were uh, able to create the schedule and we were able to implement activity durations with ease after appending the CSV file to Navisworks. Uh, some limitations, as we were the only scheduling the structural aspect of the building, there was no need to add any time for additional activities that would result in a tenant improvement, like uh, wall boards or anything like that. So it resulted in no float activities in the schedule. Now we're going to show a uh, fly-through model of the building Here's the fly through. As you can see, it's a three story building where it's got punch out windows. It's made out of a steel structure. Here we'll be heading to the back side of the building where we'll have a uh, bottom exit door, more of like a French door type of look. Now we're moving to the uh, next side. As you can see, you can, we'll come around to the other side where we'll have a balcony type of thing where people can go out, hang out, maybe have a barbecue, smoke a pig, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> now we'll be heading inside the building where it will be some common area. <laughs> we got some stairs, open. Lounge area. And we'll go on upstairs. No, we're going around the corner. Oh. See, we got cool TV couches, pooper. <laughs> the toilet. <laughs> now we're moving up the stairs where you can, uh, some more area. There's the entrance to the balcony as we were talking before. You got a little lounge area right there. On the back side, there's some rooms. The third deck here is just all open. Pretty cool. And a nice room. Okay. Don't save. Moving on. So some benefits and drawbacks of working on with the global team. Some of the drawbacks were that being that they were, the other groups were in different countries, given Taiwan. Uh, it was very difficult to work with time zone differences. Uh, we had issues with that. Uh, along with that, it was difficult with voice video conversations, being directly with the students, being again with the time zone differences and internet connections. It was very difficult. Some of the benefits, however, were that there was numerous ideas that came from the different universities. Everyone had their own opinions on how to construct the building or some different multicultural building standards and what we thought was best for the building. So the different modeling softwares that we used for this uh, project were Revit, Excel, and Navisworks. Revit being the original model was created in Revit. Um, and Adam and I created our schedule through Excel. And we use Navisworks for the 4D model and fly-through. We're about to show you the 4D model here in a little bit. <clears throat> All these programs were uh, interoperable uh, because Navisworks accepts tons of different types of files. Uh, we use the CSV file from Excel, and uh, we the file that came from Revit, we were able to just put in Navisworks without any troubles. <clears throat> um, some of the other programs that we could have used were Primavera P6 for scheduling um, and as well as AutoCAD or Google SketchUp instead of Revit, but we chose uh, Excel and 
um, Revit as they were the programs that we were all most comfortable with. So our weekly communication consisted uh, of usage through Facebook, Google Drive, and SoCoCo. We used Facebook from week two throughout the rest of the project because uh, we found that SoCoCo was pretty difficult to do as um, the times were a little different and we just could not get face-to-face -face time with the other students. <clears throat> uh, we used Google Drive to create this presentation and um, Virtual BIM Viewer, uh, we used those walkthroughs for the first uh, two weeks, I believe, and we didn't feel the need to use that anymore after the second week. So for the BIM execution plan, we completed this by using ver various commitments. Uh, each university was able to create their own deadlines. Um, after the design was created by NTU and NCKU, we, Brian and I felt like it was important to finish the scheduling and complete the fly-throughs. If we were to rewrite the BIM execution plan, we would include more collaboration dates with the team members. So now we're going to go, oh. Here is our 4D walkthrough. As you can see, it starts with the concrete slab here at the bottom. After that's completed, we'll begin the first floor with the steel structural frame. As we move forward, getting the interior walls completed onto the second floor, and then move on onto the third floor, where you can see the street, the two balconies will be along with that final room. And again, here's the final look at the project. And here is the modular introduction as well as structural analysis that uh, I believe Debbie Debbie has provided us with. Um, it was more of a collaboration with all the. Taiwan students from NTU. They also helped out with this with Debbie. Debbie did the architectural look and the NTU students completed the structural analysis. So they created it with the columns being W21 by 44 and they used 21 w, W21 by 64 along with using W21 by 57 and by two. So that just about wraps up our presentation. Thank you for listening. Checking out.